Hey everybody, this is not a screen check and the big news today is, oh wait a minute, two things, Anne Hathaway continues to apologize for her selection of Oscar gowns and yes, First Lady Michelle Obama looks like she's being paraded around for, yes, her first term, really? Her first term as the next president. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. You mean that the Democrats are going to try to pull a Putin and <gasps> put her in office for two terms? And then while she's in office for two terms, they change the Constitution to allow Obama to be president again for life. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to happen because the Democrats are holding Benghazi over his head. Oh, are they? They're refusing to investigate. When they refuse to investigate and they know a crime was committed, it means that they're going to, when, if he starts to pull the things, well, right now, uh, the news of the day is Bob Woodward is, look, is thinking about bringing criminal charges against the White House for threatening emails oh. that they would fix him if he continued to, Ooh. yeah. And Woodward is a left-wing Democrat mm -hmm. and he's all over the left-wing media and he's showing the emails that, okay, here's the thing is, if you don't want people to know what you're doing, don't send it by email and don't, don't use voicemail, don't use text messages or, or don't go on YouTube because it's all there. It's all over the place. And uh, they're trying, but, okay, you know how they handled the threats? Mm. By threatening more. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, now here's this thing about Anne Hathaway and her, and her gown. Her gown was beautiful. Okay, she could have worn nipple covers, but you know what? I think, do you think that some actresses might be, oh yes trying to work their way around that code yeah, of conserva oh, the, conservativeness. You mean the code that George Bush, the Republicans, ordered the in oh, entertainment yes. industry to do? Oh, who's been out of office for six years? Oh, I, I read or a five thing. Years Here, or here's, a, here's a news item this morning. That while the Republicans have lost the, the lost the popular vote in five of the last six presidential elections, of course they've had four presidents in that time, they, uh, they have turned this country more conservative than ever. You know, the, church, the, the, liberal, the court system has turned conservative, the school system has turned conservative, the, you know, everything has turned conservative, and um, basically if you believe that, you also believe that, that uh, Barack Obama is a conservative Democrat. He is, isn't he? Well, the, the Democrats are trying to, <laughs> no, but the trick is, we're going to explain something very simple, the more liberal the government, the more conservative it is because they want to stifle any opposition. And Seth MacFarlane says no, but the Academy Awards defends him. Yeah, which means that they fully intend to have him back next year. Mm -hmm. they, As a host of next year's... Which, oh, wait a minute. No longer the Academy Awards, the Oscars. It is the Oscars, because here's the way it works. Is I am beginning to believe that the talk at Magic is not talk, but they heard somebody talking over at the Academy, that the Academy Awards is going to aim because of the fact that everybody knows who who the winners are going to be before the Oscars, there's no point of having it anymore. So they're going to do, uh, honor. they're going to honor people. They're going to have, you know, for, for work done, they'll pick like five best actors that have been ignored by the Academy, five best oh actors, gosh. five best directors, five films, and they will then decide among the Academy members who, these, who the honored person should be for the year. Uh, you know, Oscar is going to take a different connotation simply because of the fact that, um, well, they said, all you got to do is to put people out there that they've actually heard of and nominate movies that people actually go, well, you know, no. eight of the ten movies that were nominated made a hundred million dollars or more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think seven of those ten that were nominated were not exactly fan-friendly. Come on, let's bring back the Avengers. Yeah. Because actually, the people might watch it. Oh, actually, they were there. Yeah, the well, the billion-dollar movies were represented but other than a minor a minor award for free fall and the best song they got nothing again mm. they don't like movies if you're a very po uh, uh, okay the hobbit was a massive money maker it got two minor nominations that's it and carry defense four and eight from cuts they're going to cut four and eight because basically like okay they're like we gave a billion and a half dollars worth of brand new jets to people that want to destroy Israel and attack the United States, that does not make sense, folks. Mm. And we're supplying, we're trying Pakistan, 
you know, with everything that they need, billions of dollars, and they, they hate America. Ever since Obama became president, everybody in the Muslim world hates America. And Rubio bumps water bottles with Netanyahu, the backstory. I know, they're, they're just making fun of that. I mean, it was a setup, folks. He'd already done it. He did it once in Spanish, and then they, uh, they did it in English. He'd, been, he'd rehearsed that thing to death, so the water fumbling was a rehearsal. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they, they had it down to where he looked like he was stumbling. He didn't stumble for the Spanish audience at all. Oh, he didn't? So he gave the, which was not seen except on a Spanish language station, but he stumbled for the, the mainstream press to see it. Isn't that coincidental? Oh, yeah. And DHS releasing illegal immigrants before sequester. Oh, yeah. They said that the Janet Napoleano said that that was not supposed to be happening, only if the uh, funding was cut. Well, the funding is one tenth of one percent of the budget. And it is not mm -hmm. for, it is next, it is basically an increase in spending of 14 percent. So you're not going to lose. No one has been hired is going to be fired. There's going to be nothing changed in a period. But the president, hey, one of the people said the president has to have doom and gloom happen tomorrow. You're going to see the nuke. The, I mean, every Muslim terrorist in the world has got to know that he intends to leave nuclear weapons unguarded next starting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And he's going to let people, he's going to shut down the border. He's going to shut down meat factories. He's going to shut down every... Every restaurant and every grocery store in the United States, because he has to. <laughs> you, you didn't turn it on again. No, oh, you didn't. <laughs> I, I got excited. Well, I knew she <laughs> didn't turn it on, so I, I watched this thing because I can tell. I, French Malian forces fight Islamist rebels in Gao. Yeah, well, yeah, because they're basically the jobs that we should be doing, but our brand new Secretary of Defense. <laughs> Less than 24 hours after he was named Secretary of Defense, he decided to attack the United States and go pro-Muslim, pro-Iran, anti-Israel, and everybody. I mean, they're trying to figure out why in the world. Okay, he, he would have never been nom He would have never got the nomination except for two Republicans, and they cannot figure out why they voted to support a guy that is uh, that wants to see the destruction of. He wants the military disbanded. He wants nuclear. He wants the Muslims to all be nuclear powered because we are responsible, and they and and the United States will no longer be a leader. He wants us to be a follower, and this is the guy they put in as Secretary of Defense. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Iran moved to speed up nuclear program troubles west. Yeah, but, well, it doesn't trouble Chuck Hagel. He said, "Go for it." He this did. Is, this is what he said for it. He said, "As soon as they have the weapons, there'll be no more of this nonsense." And Venezuela Chavez still suffers breathing trouble. He's dying. It's very simple. He's got he he has got um, he got cancer of the. Uh, he, he should not have breathing problems because that's not what a cancer at. It just means the cancer. The he's just in such a weakened state. He has you know nothing else left in him. So probably we're probably close to the. 10 you think minutes. so? Oh, yeah. So should we just close it then? And I'll, yes. I'll do a couple more. Yeah, a just couple in case. more, I know. Yeah, a couple more, just This is what happens when I let her monitor the clock. <laughs> so, I, I have to start, because what happens is, okay, here's what it is. You have to understand, if we're in this room, it's because it's the only room in this whole building we can heat. So, I guess the telephone. I guess it, the telephone's telling us, too. Well, anyway, animology bubble is from the Mark Twain and the okay. animal kingdom. Okay, when everything seems to be going wrong, that's what the time to pull it up for the day.